So now let me tell you one thing about writing. And I think that's a lot of things people don't. It's good that you write. It's good. If you cannot write, get yeah, people to write. You yeah. write music for people. Yeah, I write, no, I've never written music for people before. I write for myself. You write all your songs yourself. Yeah. So what's your typical day in, in the studio? I mean, if I want to see Q-Dot right now, what's a, what's a typical day for, with Q-Dot in the uh, studio? How long you, you. does it take you to write a song? I won't lie to you. I have a studio in my bedroom and downstairs also. Oh. I love music. I love to record back to back. Wow. Wow. So how many songs do you have in your catalog? Like uh, right now, if I if I check your hard drive, how many songs will I have? Would I check in uh, if I see you? I won't lie to you. <laughs> you wanted to drop 20 songs in the album before. But my manager was like, you <laughs> so, so, I mean, overall now, how many songs do you think uh, you have? I have a lot of songs. I won't lie to you. A lot. More than 100. Yeah. Wow. I'll finish one, the one I finished already. Okay. Which, which, which song didn't make the album? Did you did you record with anybody that didn't make the album? Which um, song did you record with anybody that didn't make the album? Um, <laughs> That's my <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mention them, but actually the song is good, but just that we have so many songs on the album already. So you, you're still going to record? Are you going to release the song? Yeah. Or? This song is Club Banger. Mm. A big shout out to the artist. You don't know now, but I'm going to tell you the song. <laughs> Okay, let's switch it up now. Tell us more about you. I mean, the thing is, the truth is, a lot of people know Cuda as a popular musician, oh. but they don't know the other side of you. Now, for the first time, a lot of guys actually heard that you're from your Korea. You're actually from Lagos State. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of people actually think you're from Ibadan. I'm a Korean. Wow. So, you wow. Know, I'm from Ibadan. And... So, family background. Can you tell us more about your background very yeah, quickly? I'm the first for my dad, second one for my mom. Okay. You know? Okay. All the way from Ibadan. My secondary school in Ibadan. Uh, before going to Yaba Tech. Okay. Um, you know, like that, like that, like before we face music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you see this? At, at some point, every, I'm sure there was a time people say things like, oh, you're just that guy whose music is only in the West. Or possibly they say, oh, he's the biggest artist in the Badon. <laughs> and it's almost like the only way people can connect with your music is there. No, no, no. But that's, I mean, how do you how do you deal with that in the beginning of your well, life? A lot of people think career? I have based in the Badon. So I'm in Lagos, but you know, I grew up in Ibadan, so that's the main reason I have the tonation of the okay. sound. Okay. I'm a Lagos boy for me, could do. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm a Lagos boy. But wow. I love Ibadan people. Okay, okay. But I'm fucked with their sound. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you mean. Yeah. I mean, people talk about indigenous music, and it's almost like, uh, you know, when you sing in a setting lingua, it's, it's local, it's very yeah. grounded. Uh, do you think at any point did that restrict you as an artist? Uh, at all. Because I want like to you, most of my shows these days is international show. Like Dubai, you know, UK, Ireland. And for the fact that I'm doing the local music, yeah. I collect money in dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, I, I like to hear that. I mean the thing is you speak about our everyday life. Definitely. And um, the things you talk about are very relatable. I mean, for example, when somebody say you you can't buy a car for one hundred fifty nine thousand <laughs> and don't expect it not to give you troubles. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just the punchline. Yeah, yeah, that, I understand what that means. Yeah. Uh, do you clearly almost um, how much do you think you exalt some certain kind of people? For example, they almost think you are a, a prey. You praise a lot of guys who are doing, you know. <laughs> not really. You know, there's one thing people don't understand about my music. Yeah. Uh, everyday activities what i see every day you know for the father where i come from the hood so these are the things that you know come up everyday activities so i have to put it up together to make a sound and that's good i mean and that's why i say your music is very relatable yeah uh, the thing is always good for us to have conversations like this so we can have real deep Definitely. deep stuff to talk about i yeah. like big right? i like big i like big yeah <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean what does that mean um a lot of people have different meaning for that name but my own is, you know, that musician that need money. I want to sing and get my money. <laughs> You're all about your money, bro. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. I mean, I connected to some songs on the album. Um, I love Ayedun. Wow. That's a good song. Yeah, I, I love I'm Getting Me as well. Um, and for some guys can relate with, which I feel is going to, you need to work on that because I know it's going to be a big banger is a week. Mm. <laughs> because, you know, I want cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> 
Chano. Chano. <laughs> They're gonna like that song, right? Definitely. Uh, but what's the plan? Have you have you thought of shooting videos for the songs? Yeah, uh, me and my team we're trying to work on uh, this. Uh, this is a single now, Mad Way with Part of Ranking. Yeah. And we're working now. That is why we are here to tell people about the album <laughs> and let them know the look at what is making it. How do you how do you feel like uh you know for the past few days your your album is dipped as one of the the highest streamed albums. <laughs> On, on a lot of platforms like that. How do you feel about that? Egbo, I mean, you didn't look from you. I don't like to you. You didn't see this coming, right? Did I you? don't. I don't. See my album coming up. Like, who am I? I Big shout out to my fans. People that listen to my whole kind of music. God bless you. Have you been judged on anything before? I mean, about your music, your personality, and who you are. Do you think people have really judged you at any point in time? Oh, you know, and I want you to be very honest. I don't like to. This language barrier thing is really affecting yeah. People like us that do the, you know, the Afrocentric part of it. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Nice, uh, Da Green, AY, for opening the way for people like us yeah. during the Yoruba Yoruba thing. But now it's big, trust me. Which do you think is the favorite of your song on the album? Ah, I know that's a hard question, but which, which do you think is your favorite, ah, q ah. well, it's, it's This is my first album. I think I love every song. <laughs> 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 it's hard for me to pick. I won't lie to you. It's okay. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you feel that is that's your you don't have a favorite. Um, if you ask me to pick one by first, yeah. I will go for uh, the track two. So, so, so okay, look at this guy. Yeah, I don't like to because <laughs> I love that song. Nice, nice. I, I, I mean, I checked out your remix with Nini a lot. Yeah. Do, yeah, do yeah. you consider Best Set as one of your biggest songs right now? Um, right now, I will say no because this album is really trending. I love people keep, you know, talking calls, about it, right? this message that this album is doing good. A big shout out to Nina Lau on that remix. Yeah. But it, I mean, the original song, Gugbese was, Bessie is, yeah, is yeah, evergreen yeah, yeah. music. Yeah. A lot of people accept this song all over the world, Bessie, yeah. and thanks to all my fans. I like that. Yeah. So, which song gave you your biggest breakthrough? Um, ah, do you remember this song? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 there, there was one, there was one song I, I got on. I think the first time I ever heard about you was when you did a song for an alcohol brand. Yeah, that's that the song, song was, was the one I felt open the door. But you know, yeah. there's other songs as well. Yeah, I'm Ibadon. 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 That's a big song too. Wow. With Badu. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. Now, on your choice of people you actually put on this album, why did you pick Pato Rankin and the rest? Yo, I'm so connected with Pato Rankin from even from Ikoroju. Yeah. You know? So I remember when I dropped uh oh. he, yeah, he danced to the song and posted it on the IG. So he helped the song. So since then he has been supporting Q Dot. Okay. So we have to work together on the album.